Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> if you have run across this problem as my wife and I did tonight, I'm going to show you how to fix this. What problem is that, you might ask? <clears throat> well, the problem is that you buy a new Xbox One controller or an Xbox One Elite controller and all of a sudden it won't work with some games or, in this particular case, Skyrim. So, in order to fix that, you need, obviously, for Windows to install the drivers, but then say it still doesn't work. Now, a couple of things to note here is that um, I've seen a couple of people suggesting that you delete your Skyrim.cfg and Skyrimprefs.cfg files. Do not do that. Those two files have absolutely nothing to do with whether a controller will work with the game or not. So bypass that and especially don't do it if you're using uh, Vortex, Nexus Mod Manager, uh, that kind of thing because it will screw up your saves. So <clears throat> how do you get this to work? Well if you have Steam in Big Picture, which I do right now, you come into the settings you go down to controller settings and you go down to you have to make sure that Xbox configuration support is checked as well as generic gamepad configuration support the reason for this is that while Skyrim may recognize the 360 controller the drivers for the Xbox One controller and the Xbox One Elite controller do not have a driver signature to tell the game that it will work the same way that a 360 controller w would. So you have to make sure that generic gamepad configuration support is checked and now it will work and we'll, uh, we'll load up a brand new game here. So now with that checked and all of that stuff done we'll open up Skyrim. Now the only thing that I can say is that if you play with a lot of mods um, you may end up still having to use the keyboard for some of the shortcuts because obviously a controller has a hell of a lot less keys than a keyboard does. So you may still need the keyboard uh, to interact with some of those mods that you have. But this is not a video about that. This is how to get a controller, an Xbox One or Xbox One Elite controller to work with Skyrim. I did a lot of searching after figuring out that the two new controllers that I bought for us to play with didn't work as she tried to play earlier and tried to play with the new controller and it wouldn't work. So that led me to do a little investigating and see what the problem was. But we'll just start up a new save because all of my saves through trying the other suggestions like the CFG thing screwed up my other saves so I can't play them anymore. Thanks guys. Um, this is not a driver issue that you yourself can fix. Uh, there is no need to reinstall the drivers if it works with other games. Cat, what are you doing? Anyway, um, if it works with other games, then it should work with Skyrim, and that means that the drivers are working, so there's no need to be doing that. Alright, so as you see, it's going to lag for a second because of all the mods that it's trying to install, um, but as you can see, the controls for the game on the Xbox One controller now work draw all that stuff um, I believe right tr right trigger one or right tab is your shout and that would be quick draw but we don't have anything there so triggers work as attack buttons there's that and we have our menu with our quests and all that that works just fine um, we have our wait timer Y for jump and then B is your inventory and all that good stuff. So everything now works. Um, 
sorry if you messed up your game due to some of these other people's suggestions, but this is the way that works. Uh, so now you know. I just wanted to make a video about this. That way people could stop searching. So there you go. Have fun and enjoy.